fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me Okay guys, let me just move these real quick I just had ended my watermelon video, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to post this one first, but I did some watermelon nails, so if I post this one first, then my watermelon nails will be following, but I just want to show you something. Now, I don't know if you guys, um, her name is Kirst Kirsten Meekin, Kirsty Meekin. Well, I'll put her, um, I'm mean, actually, I'll put her name right up here, and actually I'll put the link down below to her video. I actually learned this from her channel. Um, her channel used to be called Nail Nails, but I think she left Nail Nails, so now it's Kirsty or Kirsten Meekin. Let me see, it's just so I don't get it wrong, it is, um, Kirsty Meekin. Okay, so what she did was... Let me get out these. I don't know. One of these must have spilled in here. So get out some pigment. So let's see. What colors will we use? Okay, let me just... These are just some cheap AliExpress pigment powders. Um... And what you are going to do is please use an old stamper because it is going to ruin your stamper a little bit. So let me get out my stamper. I really don't care if I... Uh, okay. So I'm just going to use kind of my icky stamper. And this is kind of really neat. It's kind of making your uh, crackle polish with pigments. So I'm going to go ahead and just like you normally would. You know what? Should I just use this brush right here? Grab some powder. And even putting your powder on your thing like this, it um, clouds it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you don't have to be neat about this, not at all. You don't have to do it in any type of order. So let me put this where you guys can actually see what I am doing. Here, let's get some purple. Now, I tried to do it because I didn't watch the full video when she was doing it. I tried to do this with gel polish and it didn't work, so you need acrylic um, paint. But I am going to show you how she did this. And I thought it was pretty cool. So then you go ahead just gonna put a few colors and blend them all in next to each other ah. I think I need to buy some more pigments let's get some green going in here then we'll need a nice bright orange and yellow so let's go in here with some green
some yellow. Should I go in with that orange or should I go in with a little bit brighter one? Let's go in with the brighter one. I was looking at this one right here. What the heck? We had so many bold colors in there. Let's go in with like a neon. Once you got all your pigments on there, what you do is, so you know what, I don't have my, or do I, I guess I can use this. Now where's my white acrylic pa uh, paint, so let's see here. Actually, I'm just going to give it a little shake. So I'm just going to pour it right on there like that. Go ahead. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. I hope this works. Because I don't remember quite how I um, think I did it. So now what you got to do after you smear... Oh, just stick my whole hand in that right there. Once you put your acrylic, kind of just like... Put it on the top over there, all that pigment powder. You let that dry. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And then I will be right back. Okay, and while we're waiting, what we're going to do is... We're going to paint our pop stick. In black. So there's a one nice coat. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in the lamp. Just gonna put it in for 60, even though my lamp's pretty strong. I want to make sure it's cured. Is this still wet? Oh, yeah. It's still wet. I think I put a little too much, but that's okay. I'm actually going to take this off of here. As you see the bottom, I didn't like smear it or when I was putting the acrylic paint on. Honestly, I probably think I could have did it a little thinner. And I kind of want to see if I did this, if it would. Oh, actually, yes, it is working. Okay, there. That's kind of how I want it. So my finger worked. Who says your fingers ain't your best tools? So... We're gonna, again, we're going to let that dry. just want to show you I just painted the nail. And I don't want to take that tacky layer off. So we're just going to leave that sit right there until this dries. Okay, guys. So I think it has dried. So it should look like this. And if you kind of start doing this, that's why I say use your old one. It's going to, like, crack. Oh. I'm starting to get it all over me. So what you want to do is like... As you see... See how it has that like... 
crackle effect. Tell me that is not so cool. Now, I don't know if she like invented this. Oh, that's where I touched it right there. So I goofed that piece. But whoever did invent this, like, kudos to you because this is super awesome. trying to cover up that like ugly spot I messed up at and as you see I am splitting my thing so this will only be used for like doing this so it does destroy your stamper so that's why I said do not use a good stamper or an expensive one but here is how that came out tell me that is not is like so neat I love it so what I'm going to do now is first let me take this off um, is this alcohol yeah, I'm just going to spray a little bit of alcohol on it. Okay. I mean, I could have got up and just like washed it in the sink, but... That'll work. So now what I'm going to do is, I don't want to use my good gel top coat because I don't know. The colors are going to stick to the brush. Is this empty? I feel like this is almost empty. I have to refill the bottle, but I want to clean the bottle up before I do so. Let me try this bottle. Let's see. No, it doesn't look like it's sticking to the brush. I bet you this would look like really neat as matte too. You know what? This is not um here. Let me fill up my I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. I want a nice thick glossy coat on here. Let's see, how's it looking? There we go. I messed it up right there where you can see because that's where I touched the side of it with my finger. Right here. So there was nothing there and it just made it like, I don't know. But we are going to go ahead and cure that. But yeah, I thought that was just so neat. I wanted to share it with you guys. I tried it once. I wanted to try it again. So I figured what better place than to do it on here with you guys. So tell me what you guys think. Are you guys going to try this? Did you see her video? Um, have you tried it before? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. 
and if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so if you like uh, nail content and uh, give me a big thumbs up hit the notification bell so you know when I make my next video and uh, go ahead and leave me a comment even if it's just to tell me what you think to say what's up and yeah like subscribe share hit the notification bell all that good stuff and it is dry and yeah so there is our crackle pigment powder um i guess that's it crackle pigment powder with a silicone stamper and again please do not use a stamper that you like or that was expensive because one the reason how I did ruin this one and this was a really favorite of mine was by putting pigment powder on it it clouded it up and I haven't used this one in a long time so I didn't really but I will be doing this like style again and I'm just going to save this uh, stamper for doing so and even if it splits in half, well, then I got two of them that I'll just have to, like, kind of squeeze. And I'll have two of them to do that on. But, yeah, just please don't use a stamper you like. And, yeah, um, I guess you could use any pigment powders. But I did want to try one thing. I always wanted to know if the pigment powder like this would work with like an eyeshadow so we're just going to give that a try and then we'll be done so hang tight let me go get some eyeshadow and I'll be right back okay so I'm back so I have some of this this is LA Colors it's loose pigment I have uh, the Spanglish by Alamar I think that's how you pronounce it cosmetics and it has some really pretty colors in here. So we'll try one shimmer and one uh, glittery one. And then I have some NYX, some drugstore. So we kind of got some like, I don't know, more like high-end Alamar. I consider like a little bit more high-end. And then this, like a more high-end drugstore. I always did love uh, NYX, NYX. And then... um yeah, this came, I don't know if this was at Walgreens, this was at the, I don't know. It is a um, eyeshadow though. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to rub some of this on here. Like, I don't know if this is going to work like the um, pigment powders did. So that is how it is looking though. But I bet you it would look really nice. I should try doing this like going up with just like a gradient on my nails with this. But I bet that would be really pretty on my nails. So let's see. How are we going to open this? So let's do some of this blue. Right, I wonder if I could get more going. I'm gonna mix these two blues. I wonder if I could get more of my finger. Oh yeah. Okay. So we did that with the blue. You know what? And I'm gonna put a little bit green going on the edge. There we go. Yes. So we got like a shimmer and a, so that was the next, the blue and the teal there. Now this is the Alamar and I'm just going to do, so we'll do a shimmery one, which is the purple. Now I have no idea if this is going to work and we're going to do the not shimmery one, the flat one. You know what? Let's put 
get some more shimmer. Blend it in between there, some of this color. You know what? And then let's use this, mix it into this gold here. So let's see what works, what doesn't work. Now, for some reason, when you try doing this with a, um, I'm just going to do this with my finger because it seemed like I liked it better, worked better. Ooh, something hard on there. Um, it seems like, um, yeah, when you use a, gel polish it doesn't really dry it kind of just you peel it off because I tried it and then she did it and it happened to her the same way it happened to me the same way it happened to her so okay I want it to be kind of thin and I'm gonna go ahead and get another pop stick so I'm going to go ahead, again, paint this black, and we do want to do it um, with like a polish that has a sticky layer. So if you don't want to use color, don't go and use like a clear top coat that's like no white, because I don't think it'll stick. It might work if you use um, a foil, a foil glue. I think it might work with the foil glue. Okay guys, so I completely just ruined it a little bit. So I'm going to apologize for that. I am so sorry. I don't know what happened. I think I like bumped it with my hand when I was, I don't know, I don't know, I am so sorry, I'm so mad at myself, but it was okay, because we still got like all of this, and basically I think if it works with like one or two, it's going to work with uh, that color there, so... Okay, so here. Very messy. So I'm gonna do a little bit right there. So, okay, that was the pink from the Alamar Spanglish palette. Okay, that one didn't crackle, but you know what? It might not have been dry. But as you see, it was starting to in there. So. Oh yeah, there. It's starting to crackle right there. That was the loose uh, LA Colors pigment. Hold on. Let's try to get some of this blue. And let's get some more of this pink where it's cracked at, crackled. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it will work. I just didn't let it fully dry, but as you see the blue, and that one worked, there it wasn't dry, but it does work. And as you see, the pink right there worked really good too. So I just didn't let it dry properly, and then I got polish on it, I touched it. So that was my fault. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. And have a beautiful rest of your day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.